we get ahead of Election Day coming up on Tuesday and Americans in many cases head to a voting booth, a small group will actually cast their ballot using their smartphone. The idea of a voting app has some concern, though, over security. Technology is on the ballot in some midterm elections where a voting app's being put to the test. This is no kidding around voting online. This year, West Virginia is giving some voters the option to cast their absentee ballot from a mobile device using an app called Votes. The pilot program is only available to active military and overseas voters from 24 counties. Safe and secure. The Votes app verifies identity with an ID and video selfie and protects selections with biometric verification. And the final ballot is anonymous and secured using blockchain. Only time will tell and being able to demonstrate successful use cases and move step by step is, is how you build trust. Trust that may be hard to earn with the privacy and security concerns around online voting and the unsettling possibility of a hacked election. Vote tampering is a huge concern among many people. But the convenience of an app could also have a positive impact on voter turnout. In 2014, only about 36% of eligible voters showed up. And it's accessible. Now, 77% of American adults have a smartphone. If I were a betting man, in the future, at some point, we're probably all going to be voting from our couches. Tuesday's election could be a step toward that future. And we wanted to know if you'd be interested in hmm. voting using an app. We asked on Twitter what you thought, and more than 60% of you said that you would like to be able to vote online. Seems like it would be ultra convenient, right? We wanted to get a little bit more information here, as the Votes app also has a Utah tie. Utah's Medici Ventures, a subsidiary of Overstock.com, is one of the app's largest investors. And here with us this afternoon, Medici Ventures president and Overstock.com board member, Jonathan Johnson. Mm. And as, as we're looking at this voting app, and of course he said, you know, in the future we're all going to be doing this, but how soon in the future? Well, we think that Votes is being very careful in rolling this out. So in West Virginia, do they, they're doing a pilot program with just overseas voters, military families, military personnel and their families. It's a small subset. Test it, make sure it works. If that works well, then maybe more absentee voters or vote by mail voters. We don't see it replacing going to the library and pulling the lever. We see it being additive to that. And we think it would be a big deal in Utah. There are a lot of people that are overseas, whether they're military or working or missionaries here in Utah, that have a very hard time voting and don't vote. It would be great if they could do it on an app on their mobile phone. Jonathan, could you kind of explain, we said it's based on blockchain. How does this actually work to where it's also secure? So you log on to it, you log the app onto your phone, mm -hmm. you verify yourself with your face and a, and a driver's license. The county clerk can then verify that you're registered to vote there. The county clerk pushes you the ballot on, the, on your phone. You vote, it's then cryptographically changed secure so that the county clerk gets the vote doesn't know that it's you voting mm -hmm. but it knows that it's someone that's allowed to vote in the county counts the vote creates a paper ballot for an audit in case there's any question afterwards and best thing of all the person who votes can know that their vote has been counted as they cast that's something that we can't do today yeah and I think the major question, though, here is what's on everyone's mind, and is can it be hacked? Yeah, well, so far it has not. You know, we, we rely on a lot of things that we do on our cell phones today, like banking, which, mm -hmm. frankly, I'd be more concerned if my bank account or my brokerage account was hacked than a single vote. Uh, but thus far, hasn't been hacked. Mm -hmm. They had a lot of testing down on the votes application. We think it's going to be something that's going to be revolutionary, change the way we vote in the future. It very well could be. It is certainly fascinating technology, and we can see by our little straw poll here that it would at least get a lot of acceptance out there, particularly here in the state of Utah. Jonathan Johnson, thanks for being here today and uh, giving us a little bit more insight on the votes app. We appreciate it. Thank you.